Oak of Panelled Castle. The prince saw Panelled right home at his castle and go with his new wife. He had been given her hand in marriage by the prince of North Wales as a reward for winning a battle on his behalf. As soon as they arrived, great celebrations began. It was a warm and calm evening. The castle shook with music and song. The guards above the gatehouse paced repeatedly. Suddenly, he paused, straining to listen to a strange sound drifting up the valley. The mysterious sound grew louder, and with it appeared a curious green light flickering under the now orange moon. Realising that something unearthly was happening, the guard ran to tell the prince. They listened as the bewitching melody grew louder and louder, drowning out the noise of the prince's party. The music sent the prince into a rage. Who dares to spoil our celebrations on this great night? Come on, men. We'll spoil their song and fight with them, man or spirit. they ran where on a grassy knoll they saw a host of fairies dancing in the moonlight. The prince in his rage ran at the folk cutting madly through thin air with his sword that was now glowing green. In his temper he wrapped it. Away very folk! This valley belongs to me. Suddenly, one of the tiny fairies flew up and fluttered close to the prince's face. Proud prince, you have attacked those who mean you no harm. May all of your village and castle be ruined. At once, a furious sandstorm blew up. Sand and wind stung the faces of the prince and his men, and they were filled with fear. A curious feeling caused the prince to turn towards the sea. Squinting his eyes, he saw a great fairy castle upheld by glistening white waves. The now hush winds seemed to carry a thousand sparkling lights. As soon as he had seen it, the magical castle, stunning in its beauty, disappeared into the depths below. The valley was peaceful again. <laughs>